Hey guys, what's going on? Decided to do a quick video. Um, <clears throat> it was in the middle of playing Splatoon, actually. Uh, Splatfest is about to start here in North America. This is uh, um, July 17th, but it's about to be July 18th in just like 10 minutes, uh, which is when Splatfest starts. So I'm about to get in on that real quick. It's uh, roller coasters versus water slides. I voted water slides just because I'm not a big roller coaster person. I like amusement park rides and carnival rides and stuff, and I like a lot of the crazy ones, but I'm not the biggest fan of roller coasters. Depends on which roller coaster. Well, it's not crazy about them like some people. I know a lot of people are the opposite. A lot of people love roller coasters but hate most amusement park rides. I'm the complete opposite of that. So Water slides, on the other hand, are amazing. I've always loved swimming and water fun in general. So, something like that. Anyways, I'm going to get in on that. I just figured I'd do a quick video update. Um, <clears throat> lately, I've been playing uh, God of War. I've actually been playing the first game because I was doing them in order. I own the entire series. I own um, the God all in PS3. I own God of War Collection, God of War Origins Collection, um, Ascension, and God of War 3. And I was trying to play them in order. So right now I'm on God of War. Um, I know God of War 3 Remastered just came out for the PS4, but I, you know, it's another remaster for the PS4. Speaking of PS4, I will be buying one soon pretty soon, probably in the next paycheck or two. Um, I want to get one before September hits, uh, or, at, or at least the beginning of September, because the end of September is when um, 20 Oct 5 hits, which I'm definitely getting. They actually just announced there's going to be exclusive PlayStation content for PS3 and PS4 owners. You get uh, three heads, which are Ratchet, Sweet Tooth, and Sackboy, I believe. So the three heads that you can use on your creative skaters, so that's actually pretty cool for PlayStation fans. Uh, such as myself, I'm not a big fan of some of the characters. Like, okay, Sweet Tooth is kind of funny. Um, I've never been the biggest Ratchet and Clank fan, and I'm definitely not a Little Bit Planet fan, so I'm don't know how I'll be using them, but I may use them for shits and goes. Who knows? Anyways, um, besides that, <clears throat> got some other cool things here. Um, buying a lot of Metroid games lately. I actually picked up uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes for the GameCube. This is complete. It looks like brand new almost. It's nice and shiny. It's got everything inside of it. Um, this was, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that pricing on it, uh, $16.99. So that was pretty cool. Even though I do own this on the Steelbook Trilogy for the Wii, decided to get it anyways for effective purposes. Um, this one was five dollars if you see the price like and it's literally the metro prime hunters uh first hunt demo and uh, as you can see in there with the manual and everything again you're probably thinking why would you get the demo um because i never had it before well i did have it way back when with my first ds but i traded that in when i got another ds and i traded it in with the game that was really stupid this is back in like 05 or something um but um, I decided to get it for collection purposes. It was the demo was fun, even though I do own the full game. Um, again, just for my collection. Um, and this one's really pointless, um, but not so much. I don't know. Uh, Metro Prime, the first game for the GameCube, but this is the special printing that has the Metro Prime 2 Echoes bonus disc. So it's a two disc set. Now this is my third copy of Metro Prime. Like I said, I have the trilogy already for the Wii. The steelbook and everything. In fact, that's probably right behind me. Metro Prime Trilogy. So I got that going on. And then um, I have the regular Metro Prime for GameCube. So this is my third copy. But I paid like, you know, $14 for it. So, you know, it's not. This was just something, again, for your purposes, so why not? <clears throat> Other than that, um, I got these two, if you guys remember these from back in the day, these gold little medallion Pokemon things. This is a Mewtwo and this is a Togepi. I actually got these uh, from my girlfriend. She had extras and she randomly gave them to me. I no longer have mine from back in the day, so this is cool. Again, go in my collection. And then, what else? Oh, yeah, this is, this is cool. I, gotta, I definitely got to show this off if I can get it open. This was something I've actually wanted for a while and 
for a while, I mean, like, since I was a kid <laughs> and I first got into Zelda with Ocarina of Time. But it is... It is... Da -na -na -na. An actual replica of the Ocarina of Time, and it does play. It actually came with a little, uh, little song book for random, you know, teaches you how to play. And it's just, it's not too big. It's a little fold-out thing, but yeah. Um, but it's, and it's not plastic. It's actual like glass. It's really nice quality, really shiny. It's got the Triforce emblem there, and it's got these. If I want to hang it on my neck, which why would you do that? Because probably break it <laughs> but uh yeah really glad i don't know if i'm gonna try start playing it or whatnot but this is mainly for my collection this is something i've always wanted as a zelda fan and i'm glad to finally have it this was literally like 25 bucks i found um at a store at the mall by at, at one of the malls by me so that's it's a steal so there's that um besides that like i said a splatoon i mean splatoon um splatfest is about to start here on splatoon um, I'll leave my uh, Nintendo Network ID down below if you guys want to um, get in on that with me, find me, uh, find me on Meverse, add me, play with me. Um, I'm only going to be up for the next probably hour or two playing because I do have to work in the morning. Um, but I might be on again tomorrow night late before it ends again at midnight, so that would be cool. The last thing I want to say is there's two things related to, no actually three things related to Awada. As you guys know, he passed uh, this past weekend, um, and um, I already did my whole video on that, so you know how sad it is, but I wanted to say a couple things. One being that, um, uh, one, one being that, um, oh, breaking news. I'll let them do their thing. But anyways, um, one, one being that there was a statement um, from Takeda that actually is a long statement, very emotional. I'm gonna leave that in the description for you guys to read. It was said at it was said at his uh, funeral, and um, <clears throat> besides that, there's also a T-shirt you can buy um, that says "Thank you, Mr. Iwata" with the Mario flag on it. Um, you can get it in black or teal. You can get it in unisex or women's. Um, it's like seventeen dollars plus two dollars shipping. Um, it's going for the next I think week or so. I'll leave the link for that down below, but it's a t-shirt thing that, um, what they're what they're doing with this is, all the proceeds are for, um, for charity. 50% is going to go to cancer research, which is great. Um, we need that. A lot of died from cancer. Um, and then the other 50% is going to an organi organization called Child's Play, which they play video games for money for children's hospitals. Again, something that is a very good cause and we need. So I bought one. I'll leave the link for that down below as well for you guys to check that out. And then the last thing was the, let me see, what was two eShop games on the on the 3DS eShop um, went down in price. BitBoy Arcade went down to $1.20 and Puzzle Box set up went down to $0.50. Cents. Um, they were normally $7.99 and $2.99 respectively. The reason for that is the developer um, did it in honor of Satoru Iwata's passing, and he actually said that um, any future money that he makes um, from the sale is going to be donated to a cancer foundation. Again, goes for a great cause, and you get two games for dirt cheap. So why not, you know? Go ahead and support that. I'll once again I'll leave a link to that the details on that down below. Um, besides that, that's about it. I'm gonna get in on Splatoon right here. Um, as you see, I got it uh, going on up here. So I got my gamepad right here in the middle of charging, but I should still be able to play. So. Yep. Catch you guys later.